All right, welcome back. This is MTG Buddha. Um, I've got a box of 1992 Upper Deck. Um, I have never opened a box of 92. I think I opened a box of 90, 90 or 91. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but yeah, I bought this box um, in another bit. Well, not wanting to cut. The Upper Deck seal is really tight. Really good. Uh, I bought this box um, along with some other items and I opened it in another video. And this, wow, plastic. Okay. That upper deck plastic is tough. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is a lot thicker. Wow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the this is a box that I got uh, along with some other items that I purchased, uh, including a 1992 Topps Gold traded set. So it was like the traded set, but every card in it was a gold version of the traded cards. So I'd never seen that, so I bought that with along with this. Uh, I opened that in the other video, but I didn't open these because I knew this was going to take a little while longer to do, and I didn't want to spend, I didn't want the video to be, you know, 30 minutes long uh, opening stuff. So um, I'm going to go through and open this. I don't think I've opened the 92. Um, I don't know if there's anything of any super big time value in, in the 92 set, but um, I like opening some of these older cards just for fun sometimes, if I can get them for a decent enough price. Paid a couple dollars more for this box than I would have liked to have paid, but still, I bought a few other things and, you know, it wasn't that bad of a deal. It wasn't like I overpaid by, you know, $50 or something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, I paid like $30 for this box. I would have preferred to pay 20 or 25, but I was buying a few other things and I got kind of a bulk discount by buying extra items. So, um, Although I technically paid like thirty dollars for this box, um, probably less than that when you consider the amount that I paid for less for other things uh, by buying this box and throwing it into the deal. So we're gonna go through. I've forgotten how hard these old upper deck packs were to open. Looks like some of these are coming out damaged right off the bat. Yeah, I've forgotten how hard these packs were to open back in the day. Yeah, see, like that one's coming out chinked up there in the corner there. So, I forgot how bad these packs were. And these are just out of a sealed box, too. So, if I do find something cool, I don't know if it'll be worth getting graded for my personal collection or getting graded to try to sell. Either one. Let's see. Wow, yeah, many of these packs are not getting along. Okay. All right, tell you what, we're going to go through this stack real quick. See what we can see. And hopefully these don't stick. I think the last Upper Deck ones I did stuck, kind of. And I forgot Upper Deck does the flip thing, where almost every other card is flipped. Let's see, so... Jermaine Walton... looking to try to find players I'm interested in. Joe Carter. Let's see. Another rookie. Dave Stewart. Right, looks like we got one of the little gold for a team. So we got the Mets, which is a sucky team. I don't like the Mets. If you're a Mets fan, I'm sorry, but I'm a Braves fan, so I gotta hate on the Mets a little bit. All right, let's see. We got Willie Banks, Rondell White. I remember when everybody thought he was gonna be a big time player. I think 92 has the, has the cards in it that I, well, there's a David Justice, we'll take that. Uh, I think 92 has the ones where it's like multiple images of the player doing like swinging. I think there's a Griffey one with him swinging and then there's like a Nolan Ryan one with him pitching or throwing a throwing. Um, I don't remember what is on the Ryan one, but yeah, I think there's a couple of different ones of some of the bigger name players where they did like with them in action type of thing. So we got Raul Mondesi.
having to flip all of these is really annoying. All right, there's Roger Clemens. We'll set him over to the side. I am in the Boston area, so got to show a little respect for Roger Clemens. So I haven't found any of the cards I'm talking about. When I find one, I will definitely... Yep, there we go. There's a Conseco like I was talking about. Yeah, so there's some of the stars where they have a card where it's like this, where you have multiple images of them doing the action. So I think those are really cool. I like those. So I'm definitely going to set those off to the side when I see them because I think those are cool. Um, I just because I like those would like to have some nice copies of those in my collection of the ones that they did that with. I know they did it with Griffey and Nolan and I know Canseco and I can't remember who else they did it with, but I know they did uh, several of them. Let's see, we'll set Steve Avery over there. I'm a Steve Avery fan. And of course, one of my local stores that I go to back home is having Glavin and Steve Avery both come to the shop while I'm away, which stinks. Because I was really hoping to be there so that I could go and see Steve Avery and Tom Glavin. Um, Tom Glavin, yes, because he's a great and a Hall of Famer. But Steve Avery, because I would like to talk to him because I met him when I was a kid. And I would just kind of like to meet him again and just kind of get his autograph again. Um, since I don't have it anymore because my sister is a horrible person and gave it away. Um, let's see. She's not really a horrible person. She just, you know, she's my sister. So I'm allowed to say things like that about her. That's how it works, right? You're supposed to say bad things about your sisters, especially when they're older and mean, you know. Let's see. Um, it's okay. She's probably not watching this anyway. Uh, let's see. Anything here? Not seeing a lot. There's a Robbie on. He's a Hall of Famer. We'll set him over there. I've probably passed a couple other Hall of Famers up. There's a Gary Carter. Rest in peace, Gary Carter. If I'm not mistaken, somebody told me he just died the other day. All right. Let's see if we can go through some more of these. All right. I'll tell you what I might actually do, because these are really hard to get through. I might actually pause the video and just come back and show you the, the hits um, once I get done and let you see the, the good cards that I pull out of here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back and show you the good stuff because these packs are horrible to get open. Okay, I'm back and I finished going through the box. These are the best cards that I pulled. These are just some like Hall of Famers and players that I like, things like that. So like Steve Avery, Robin Out, Roger Clemens, Dave Winfield, Justice, Biggio back when he was still a catcher. Uh, for you, though, those of you that don't remember when he was a catcher, he started out as a catcher. Kirby Puckett, so a couple John Smoltz, uh, Jim Abbott, Brian Jordan, star rookie card, another another one of the guys who played football and baseball. Um, you don't see that anymore, really, but back then that was still a thing. There were a couple guys that did that. Um, let's see. Yeah, the rest of these are just like Hall of Famers and things like that. So just players that I like that I set aside. Um, and then these are some of the little bit better cards, the ones that I went ahead and sleeved up. So here's these Ted Williams ones. Uh, Ted Williams is probably the greatest hitter of all time, and I, his cards just need to be sleeved, from my opinion. I got two of these. These are the only ones of this type of card that I got. But I'm pretty sure there were other ones in this set. And But I got two of them, and they were both Jose Canseco. But I do like these cards. I think they're cool looking, so I sleeved them up. And then I didn't remember ever seeing this card. It was a Jim Abbott. If you can understand this, you can understand this. Be cool. Stay in school. I don't remember this card. I thought it was weird, so I went ahead and sleeved it just because I thought it was weird. Uh, here's a Barry Bonds. Um, let's see. I sleeved up these Frank Thomases because I always liked Frank the Hurt. Um, this was the only Griffey that I got was the, the Bloodlines card. Uh, I got a Bo Jackson. I got a Del Murphy. And I got a Deion Sanders. So those are like some of the ones that I sleeved up that I was interested in. Um, these are the ones that had a, were a little bit better cards. So I got two of this Nolan Ryan right here. Um, there's basically it's a team checklist, but 
I like it. Annie Nolan Ryan is a good card to have. So I went ahead and sleeved both of those up. I got this Kyle Ripken Jr. Again, Kyle Ripken Jr., always a good card to open. Um, and then I also got this Jim Tomei star rookie card. And I completely forgot 92 was his rookie year. Wow. So he debuted in 91. Yeah. But um, I don't remember if he was in went straight out of high school or if he played college. I think he played some college. But, yeah, 92 was his rookie season. So I found a Jim Tomey rookie card in here. Was not expecting that. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like, subscribe, and come back. And we'll be doing some more videos and opening more things. And hopefully you have a good rest of the day. Thanks.